In a lot of you know, art history courses, as they're given now in undergrad, you may or may not talk about many of the things that are treated in objects here. They're going to be more cultural material and more archaeological, ethnographic, historic objects that wouldn't, for the most part, come into a, an art history course. Those are probably what are best described as cold shuts. In all the areas in this department, we concentrate on historic technology to inform the students about uh, the objects that they're going to be treating and how those are made and with what. You know, there are um, file marks yeah, it's... on the surface. Learning so that you can look at them and fairly quickly come to some conclusions about how it was made, what it's made from, who made it. There appear to be some remnants of the actual casting investment, what the metal would have been poured into. We don't really want to take that off the object. Um, it's definitely an um, interesting part of its history and information about the technology, how it was made. Yeah, I've been lecturing on uh, methods of hand stone carving and stone cutting. So the idea is just to use the historic tools as they would have been used on blocks of marble and soft limestone. The sorts of stones that would have been carved for elaborate architectural decoration or for sculpture. When they see the, the tool marks on an ancient object or a, an object that purports to be ancient but isn't, they can make those kinds of distinctions. You don't really sense a material, and you don't have an understanding of that material until you've actually worked it. The point of it is to explore some technology that they haven't had any experience with. In objects conservation particularly, you have to, to think on your feet, you have to understand that it's rare that you're going to get a chance to treat the same thing again. It's a um, leather jacket that's made out of rattlesnake skins um, that belongs to the Rochester Museum and Science Center. And it was originally worn by a man named Rattlesnake Pete, who was a Rochester celebrity in the late 19th and early 20th century. I really try to communicate my a lifelong love of working with these materials and, and my lifelong love of materials to the students. See that? So that would be the, the remains of, of flashing. And hope that they get the same level of enthusiasm. And I see that happening as, you know, as class after class comes through. We all have at some point experienced a deep connection to objects. So that, that's an a doorway into other worlds, a portal um, into people of other cultures, to the past, to you know our ancestors. Well, and that's why things are important to people, beyond their usefulness, that kind of spiritual aspect that is you know what motivates us to do the work and um, and what makes it satisfying. Besides the fact that it's just plain fun. Yeah.